so welcome back everyone so in yesterday's class in yesterday's session we learned about and uh, actually uh, we were discussing about the self management how the self management is very important for our career success correct so in the five step formula i have given so first step is set goal second is make plan then get to work and the switch and stick with it and the last one is reach goal so this is really very you know very basic things and uh, for the accomplishment of every task this is very important to understand what is the need of this particular event so now i have given you some questions this is a self inquiry question how you have to ask yourself and when you will ask anything for your uh, anything to you that will be the true answer you will get the true answer so am i confident enough am i under pressure am i managing my time and others time wisely or efficiently am i ready to accept the challenge am i taking the responsibility of success and the failure okay so now see here first of all for performing any task performing any task what is very very important important is your confidence okay yesterday i have uh, i have shown one video of amygdala how our amygdala brain it is there amygdala brain you know how wisely you you are using your amygdala brain it is very important so amygdala brain is a lizard brain it's a very small brain you have and if you are not at all using you are not at all um you know taking care of your amygdala brain what will happen definitely it is going to be your this lizard brain will be your crocodile brain okay so are you really confident enough to fulfill or to perform the task this is very important okay so you have to understand your confidence level first be positive and face your fear so definitely for me i always feel fear if my kids my kids says that please go please come with me on rides so i am not able to i am not able to go to the rides okay so i am very much fearful and this fear is with me it will remain with me because i am not at all working on this fear okay so you have to work on your fear you have to work on your fear correct you have to admire and believe in your qualities this is very important student this is very important if you will not believe in your abilities capabilities strength so don't expect that others will believe okay so first you have to believe yourself that yes i can do it when you will feel that yes i can do it then definitely you will you are going to rock definitely so many negative thoughts will come you have to overcome the negative thoughts how you will overcome the negative thoughts when you will understand yourself then you will not feel 
peer pressure you will not feel societal pressure you will not feel family pressure you may have you may feel that always you are a victim of in you know, a comparison so what will happen somebody is comparing your you that your friends is doing that why you are not at all doing that your siblings are doing that why you are not at all doing that so you have to understand this is the capacity of your sibling your friend this is the ability of your friends they can do this your capability is different so you have to identify which is your capability and which area you are more confident for me i am not at all very confident to ride a bike it doesn't mean that i am less than others but i can ride activa i can ride moped i can ride car i am very much you know so my strength is to ride a car my strength is to ride a moped but my strength is not at all right to motorcycle so you have to understand and if you are feeling that oh my god you are a victim of the comparison that your friend can ride a bike and you can't then tell them i can ride whatever i want okay so how you have to overcome your negative thoughts otherwise what will happen you will start nagging you will start oh my god he can do i can't do he can do i can't do so if the thought is coming that he can do i can't do then again are you able to learn that particular task are you able to learn that particular you know uh, do you want to expertise in it you have to understand you have to ask yourself what is the necessity of that why i want to understand this why i want to learn this okay so every time you have to talk yourself and then definitely you will get the answer yesterday i have given you very beautiful exercise that whenever you feel that whether i can do this or not what you have to do just close your eyes ask yourself and feel what your body tells you your body will tell you everything your body will tell you you are afraid you are confident okay so your body will tell you everything appreciate your little success so this is the habit okay here also in our keep it when student come and we appreciate that oh no you have you have done good thing and this and that so student used to say no madam we can't we can do much more than this so it's okay you can but don't neglect your small small success also you have to take the pride you have to take the appreciation also so if you will start taking appreciation definitely you are ready for the big appreciation okay believe in your skills and potential sometimes we are just looking at the other skills we are looking at the others potential and we are not at all looking our own skill and potential so what you have to do now you have to understand this is my skill this is my potential and i will applaud i will appreciate my confidence level i will appreciate whatever potential i have okay so you then you will be more confident get around positive people definitely this is uh, how you are selecting your friend circle how in which friend circle or in which atmosphere you want okay so this is all up to you set your goals definitely when you will set the goals then you will be more confident without setting the goal without prioritizing your work definitely you will always be underconfident organize your time each day small small you have to take baby steps yesterday also we have discussed that every time you have to take the baby steps okay for an example you want to finish your book finish your time finish your curriculum okay finish your modules so don't say i am having five modules to complete first you say that i have to complete small module first module and the first module also i am going to complete first topic in the first topic i am going to complete first heading first subheading like that so when you will break up the entire thing into small pieces what will happen your confidence level will be increased 
So break large tasks into smaller tasks and set timelines. So this is very important, students. You have to always set a timeline. Without timeline, every time we will think that, oh my God, I have to finish this much of thing. So your confidence will be zero. Okay. I hope you all are enjoying the session. Now, how you always be self-motivated? So ask your question to yourself. When I feel that I am always a self-motivated guy, okay? So identify and justify your motivations. This is very important. Determine to make yourself happy always. How you will make your happy always? I'm not at all saying that, that Every time you have to feel that, oh my God, I am happy. Although I am not at all doing anything. I am not at all. I am, I am getting supplementary in my examination and then I am also happy. So this is not like that. Okay. So again, ask yourself, what am I doing so that I can make proud of myself? I, I, I always want to be happy. Then what is the reason of my happiness? Okay. You have to ask yourself. Celebrate your small small success regularly okay suppose tomorrow you have to get up at 5 a.m and you are used to got up at 11 a.m or 7 a.m or 10 a.m for an example so if you got up at 5 a.m celebrate yourself okay pat on your back oh my god yes i can do it so that will give you that will it will help you to get motivated always see possibilities in what you do okay don't see the possibility what others can do don't if you want to follow others it is good to follow but how many times you will follow others because every day every moment you will get someone better than you someone better than you so we cannot imbibe all the qualities okay so first you have to work on what is your potential what is your quality so this is very important student and this is a proverb that healthy mind always there in the healthy body this is very important so what is your mental health physical health and emotional health so three types of health are very very important so first of all if your emotional health is good your mental health is good you will definitely have your good physical health okay so you have to balance between your mental and the mental health and the emotional health so when you will taking care, you will take care of your emotions when you are taking care of small small things your emotional health as well as your mental health will be good and if the emotional health and the mental health is good your physical health will be also good so for me, I always keep one thing in my mind, how I can keep my mental health good, okay, and the emotional health good. So there should be a balance. This is a triangle, student. This is a triangle. So triangle is on the top, we have physical health, and the bottom, we are having on the baseline, left-hand side, we are having our mental health, and the right-hand side, we are having our emotional health so mental health and emotional health are the base of your physical health so to get the physical health our base should be good so what are the health seeking strategies so definitely i have already discussed you have to take care of your body have bath regularly have your medical checkups take proper food intake Okay, right, eat, sleep well. At least for six to seven hours, you have to sleep. Now check your habit. You are at home. At 3 a.m., you people are sleeping. Okay, and at 11 a.m., you people are getting up. Okay, so now you will ask, oh my God, how madam knows everything about us? So this is going on. Okay, you are enjoying your holidays. So enjoy your holidays. We are not at all saying that you don't enjoy your holidays. But you have to be very balanced. So always remember this triangle formula. Your physical health is very important. And when you will attend the physical health 
you have to detox your body how you will detox your body when you will take the proper sleep and and you know that you you people are really intelligent and you know everything because you are living in the social media life okay you are spending every time you are among the social media so in the social media the google baba always used to say that sleep early get early sleep early get early but what we are doing that sleep late get up late sleep late get up late okay so my humble request please try to sleep early and get early okay and then your emotional balance okay definitely when you will get up in the morning at 11 o'clock or 12 or 12 o'clock so what do you think that your parents are very happy no not at all your mother will try to she will start oh my god why you people are sleeping why you people are uh, that is sleep very late and all this thing so what will happen your emotional health is going to be spoiled okay so don't give any chance to anyone for the imbalance of your emotion okay so now you have to prioritize everything you have to prioritize it time how you can set a goal i have already discussed this time optimization here also when you will come always you will there will be nagging oh my god i don't have time to sleep i don't have time to breakfast i don't have time to dinner i don't have time to lunch i don't have time for my recreation okay that that is going to be happen here because this is not happened with you because when you will jump into higher education so the things will happen like this only yes so how you will manage everything this is very important so time optimization is very important okay how you are spending the time consciously it is very important you have to spend each minute very very consciously you have to ask yourself yesterday also i told you you have to ask yourself whether i have to spend time for that particular task or not you will definitely get the answer okay okay so please read one book this is my favorite book the dance of fear okay so here i think you people are very much ready after this uhv seminars we your uhv workshop just work on yourself you will be here in the month of september first week of september so till then you have to work on yourself okay when you will start working on yourself you will feel that oh my god things are really very easy so so let's see what is i'm just giving you one some case studies and after each case studies i will give you two to three minutes to think over it so case one case one you are wearing plain clothes but pleasantly dressed and going to a party okay before entering to the hall you put peep in that everybody else is wearing expensive stylish clothes what would you do leave the place before anyone notices you notices you or walk in as usual without a concern this is a case study i am giving to you all of you and now what are the issues and the question do you identify yourself do you associate it respect with your clothes number 1 are clothes the most number 2 and the number 3 do you look at yourself based on others perception of you okay this is the three question you can just imagine a situation 
I just want everyone, please close your eyes and think the situation you are caught in the in this situation. What you will do? What you will do? Will you are you going to curse yourself? Curse your dressing sense? Are you going to feel pressure? That is, this is called societal pressure or peer pressure? Do you have the fear of odd when odd one out? What is the very important? You have to select. Very important that you have to attain the function or very important to quit from there very important to be a part of that function and enjoy each and every moment to greet to meet your friends or you will feel guilty what is your what is your mental state at this particular moment? These are the small, small events, small, small incidences, which we will always feel in our life. This is very important. Because of this, we will bring so many clothes with us, so many clothes with us, okay? This is a party clothes, this is a formal, this is informal, this is this, this is that, this is this, this is that. And if somebody is forgetting to bring such clothes which you want to wear it occasionally, frequently, and you will be here, you may feel, you may curse yourself. Or you will pick up your phone. You will go to the Amazon, Flipkart, whatever is social sites are there. And you will order such types of clothes immediately without knowing the fact that whether is it the requirement or am I doing everything under the pressure? This is an inquiry question I want to give. Now, take case two. Your maths homework is due or maths assignment is due. Next period, homework is due next period. And you totally forgot. It may happen. You see your friend's maths binder with their completed on the ground next to you how you will respond. Remind yourself that trying to get as much as done before class by yourself, not copying, ask the teacher for an extension, what you will do. So this is again an inquiry question. How you will identify, how you will justify how you will cope up from that particular situation. If you will try to understand the situation, if you will try to get out of the situation, this is called confidence. You may try to copy and paste others notes so that you can submit your assignment timely. Or you want that I will solve each and every question, whatever is given in the assignment by my own. This is again an inquiry question. Next. This is very common. Your class teacher steps out of the room during a test. Your neighbor asks you the answer to the first question 
how would you respond remain silent and do your work or dash 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 okay what you will do you will show your copy or you will hide your copy or you will tell her or you will remain silent and you will do your work this is called how atmosphere impacting on your own personality own task this is again an inquiry question i hope you all are getting what i want to say here with the help of with the help of case studies now the next is continuous happiness from feelings from others what you are expecting from others are you expecting that after completion of each task my work should be acknowledged i should be praised praise i should get the praise by the family by the friends with each task completion i want some encouragement some appreciation from others ask yourself this is the case study four okay so i hope you understand what i want to say here so now let's go for the further topic this is very very important i hope you all are enjoying the session and at least you can revise your thought process at least you can introspect yourself am i taking the peer pressure how many times in a day in a month in a week in a year i feel lots of pressure it can be family pressure it can be peer pressure it can be societal pressure it can be pressure of fear pressure of failure correct so let's understand first what is the peers so you know very well what is the peer peer is a person who is of equal standing with another in a group this is a peer so peer can be anyone anything any situation any gender any grade any age anything he can be your classmate he can be your friend he can be a kids in the neighbor he can be a uncle aunt anything anything means anything this is called the peer so peer pressure i just want to ask you one thing so peer pressure is always good or always bad so please answer this question by your own so peer pressure is a strong influence from people in a group to make the group members to do something okay so if the pressure is there and because of this pressure you are performing something nice you are performing something good and you are drawing some beautiful result because of the peer pressure so peer pressure we can handle as positive peer pressure and negative peer pressure if you are confident enough then definitely all pressure according to you are negative you can convert this pressure into positive pressure so sometimes peer pressure is hard to resist we as a human being always resist so many things so many things but 
peer pressure is hard to resist easy to persuade if you feel you have to do something you really might not choose to do this is called negative peer pressure you don't want to do this after identifying your potential after knowing your fear after knowing your confidence level if you are feeling pressure then definitely it is not at all good peer pressure so you have to change the perception about yourself you have to be confident you have to introspect in which area i can perform well then definitely you are not at all going to take the peer pressure so pressure of exam pressure of friends pressure of assignment pressure of grades pressure of money pressure of self esteem pressure of bullying so many things so many pressures are there but if you are what is the mool mantra what is the formula i am going to give you if you are confident enough so confidence is the key of every peer pressure okay so good peer pressure is there so good peer pressure is being pushed into something that you didn't have the courage to do or just didn't cross your mind to do this is a good peer pressure good peer pressure is when you get pushed into something that you didn't want to do and it turned out well so i remember a movie zindagi na milegi dobara it's really wonderful movie for me there all the three heroes had very good peer pressure and with this peer pressure they have conquer on their fear so if you didn't watch this movie my request you have to watch this movie and this movie will tell you how to overcome the fear don't i will not say this is a subjective movie so there only a confidence building is there so you have to identify the area where you are feeling lots and lots of pressure okay so, and how you have to overcome the pressure so this is very important to introspect and work on our own pressure what are the good what are the benefits of the good pressure sometimes we are also having pressure we have a pressure to cook different items as a mother we have sometimes pressure to cook cakes to serve and to feed our family members so for us this is a good peer pressure okay so you have to identify which pressure you have you want to convert as a good peer pressure or the pressure which you are converting as a bad peer pressure okay so self introspection is very very important to understand our in, in it our potential to handle the peer pressure what is bad peer pressure bad peer pressure is being talked into doing something that you didn't want to do because your friend said that you should so this is a bad peer pressure bad peer pressure is usually the result of wanting to be accepted by the by your peers so understand and have a difference between good peer pressure and a bad peer pressure what is negative peer pressure the key to dealing the negative peer pressure is self confidence so i always say my students your self confidence matters a lot if you feel that you are confident then definitely no negative peer pressure and no bad peer pressure will come to you be yourself make your own decisions regardless of what other thing okay so it doesn't mean that you always perform and always go 
to the opposite direction because if every time you will oppose the things if i think that i am feeling that i am very much confident enough and i will do anything so this is also not good so before performing any task before doing anything you have to ask yourself what is the positive and the negative side of that particular point okay so keep asking and take the decision i have i have yes uh, we we have already discussed yesterday you should create your own wisdom circle in the wisdom circle if you are feeling peer pressure you have to discuss about this peer pressure in your group so definitely your group member will help you to understand whether it is positive peer pressure bad peer pressure or negative peer pressure learn to feel com comfortable saying no this is very very important we always seek a smile on the other's face we always seek appreciation from others we always seek praise from the others so because of this longing we forget how to say smartly no for an example tomorrow is your exam and in your room your friends are coming and they are enjoying they are making fun they are dancing they are singing because tomorrow they don't have any examination but you are not there you are not all not at all saying no to them please don't do here tomorrow i am having examination what will happen you are not at all enjoying the party you are not at all focusing on your examination why because you don't have that courage you are not able to say smartly you are not able to put up your problems in front of them you are thinking that if i will say something your friends will be hurt or they will say something to you which is not at all acceptable for you so how you are handling the problem smartly arrogantly this is very important so you can handle the problem very smartly and politely so many things can be solved if we are polite and kind hang with people who feel the same way you do if a situation seems dangerous don't hesitate to get an adult help okay this is very important student now in the proctor proctor system proctors are there if you feel that you want to take the help from your proctor please visit your proctor and you can take the help from your proctors or you can ask the help from your parents from your brother or in your wisdom circle what is the reason behind peer pressure definitely reason is ignorance sometimes we ignore our potential sometimes we ignore sometimes we ignore our behavior sometimes we ignore our challenges loss of self esteem this is another very important point we may feel loss of self esteem because of this we may feel lots and lots of peer pressure and then fear this is very important how you have to overcome your fear so this is all about how you have to deal with your peer pressure so now i want to ask you some inquiry question because this session is more on self inquiry rather i have to ask you so many questions so i want to share 
one more inquiry one more slide of inquiry question so this is session 5 in the session 5 we will learn the concern and the resolution of peer pressure so now what is my concern my concern is number 1 you have to ask yourself we want to be accepted by others why we always want to be accepted by others we think that we will be accepted when we are like them or better than them in how we look how we dress how we walk what we eat what we drink etc is it you have to ask yourself so there is a pressure to be like them or better in appearance clothes language and expressions always we want to be better it is good to be better but for this are you facing good peer pressure or bad peer pressure or negative pressure this is very important because if you are feeling under pressure for an example a friend is in front of you and you are feeling pressure because of him so definitely your friend who is next to you the same condition is also he is facing he is he is also facing the same peer pressure or different peer pressure from anyone else so it means what you are facing peer pressure because of your friend your friend is facing peer pressure because of someone else so try to understand nobody is perfect every one is in the learning stage so rather to overcome the peer pressure rather to face the peer pressure you have to understand your potential you have to understand which is very very important for you at this particular moment how we go about it what you will do when we will you will feel peer pressure what you will do you will try to copying them we copy their do's and don'ts we will copy their appearance we will copy their language we will copy their lifestyle etc etc so this is your homework how many times and what and where you have felt this peer pressure after peer pressure how many times you have ordered the same type of clothes from amazon or any other social media okay so this is inquiry question for all of you we let the others decide for us this is very very you know crucial thing i want to dress up like this but my friends want i should not dress up like this i like to wear t-shirt that to collar t-shirt and when i am coming from my room i saw that two or three boys of my class they are wearing different t-shirt they are wearing formals and i am wearing informals what you will do you will run away quickly you will change your clothes you will feel very pressure on it so small small things are creating negative pressure on our head please try to understand or sometimes we will be rebellious we do our own things do whatever we like 
we don't want to copy good things also for an example your mother is saying you beta get up early in the morning and you are feeling negative peer pressure what you will do i don't want to follow anybody's instructions i am the king of my own kingdom i will got up whenever i want i will eat whatever i want i will do whatever i do understand so sometimes this is again against the law sometimes you are very much rebellious very much stubborn arbitrariness is there and we feel under pressure and we will start rejecting others so this is inquiry question my dear student who is attending this session right understanding is very important if right understanding is there we can overcome so many things natural acceptance should be there you have to understand you have to self explore yourself first you have to identify what is my natural in it what is my behavior what is my demand what is what i have to do every time you have to ask yourself on the basis of validating by living accordingly so you have to validate it after validation you can go ahead sense of understanding sense of belongingness is very important you have to verify on your own right language is the only means of communication what is communicated is more important than language and expression so before speak you have to identify your body language you have to identify your language your facial expression etc etc so sometimes we feel that speaking in any language sometimes we feel monotonous sometimes we feel i should be very stylish this is again i must say that you are the victim we are the victim of peer pressure always understand clothes are the protection of the body you can get respected by wearing a certain type of clothes you have to ask yourself is it possible that every time we have to wear exclusive clothes may lead to jealousy we have to understand each and every aspects of life need of the self you have to identify what is the need of my self which is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling like feeling of respect okay need of the body is physical facility which is fulfilled by psychochemical things like food which food is very good for my body am i eating food every time which is liked by my peers i like simple veg simple khana simple food but because of i don't want to make myself laughing stuff in front of my colleagues in front of my students in front of my friends because of this i started something what i don't want okay you have to take care of this so there are three things and what is the solution first are you going to copying and adopting the things arbitrariness is there 
or right understanding is there. You have to understand where you are belonging. So living is very important. How you are living on the basis of others, on the basis of one's own like and dislike, or on the basis of natural acceptance. You have to understand first this. How you are conducting, are you changing behavior because of others? If you may come here and you are not, you are from the, and your language is very sophisticated language you are using, you are very humble, you are very polite. And sometimes you may feel that your friends will start laughing at you. Are you going to change your style? Are you going to change yourself? You just ask yourself. So many things in society, so many things in our life will be happen. But every time are you ready to change or do you have some natural acceptance? You have to ask yourself. So my dear students, I have given you so many inquiry questions. In this inquiry question, you have to ask yourself what is good and what is bad for you. Why I should do this? Before doing anything, am I ready to take the responsibility of my success and failure? Why I want to change? Am I feeling peer pressure? Am I feeling any types of pressure? Please try to understand you're in it, you're made. And manage yourself properly. Self-explore. Find your aspiration. Take care of your health. Take care of your wisdom. Take care of your emotions. Take care of your mental health, physical health, and emotional health. Be confident, work on your potential. That is the key, that is the key success. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed all my sessions. You are enjoying other sessions as well. Don't miss all the sessions of UHV, Universal Human Values, because you know so many things so many things are there in websites, YouTube, Twitter, and social media. But sometimes we need a person in our life who teaches us directly and face to face. Thank you so much, everyone, for your patient listening. God bless you all. See you here very soon in the campus. Bye-bye. Take care.